The outside of each tower was covered by a frame of 14-inch wide steel columns. The centers of the steel columns were 40 inches apart. These exterior walls bore the majority of the weight of the building. The interior core of the buildings was a hollow steel shaft in which elevators and stairwells were grouped. The interior core of the buildings was a hollow steel shaft in which elevators and stairwells were grouped. The interior core of the buildings was a hollow steel shaft. The interior core of the buildings was a hollow steel shaft. Internal supports would be in a central core of columns. Elevators would be placed in the shafts formed by the core columns. In August 1968, actual steel construction began. Kangaroo cranes imported from Australia were used for the first time in the United States. The cranes were assembled on top of the core columns. Each could lift 60 tons at a time. They would be the driving force behind the tower's construction. The cranes have the ability to jack themselves up 36 feet at a jump. As the walls grew to the height of a crane, the crane would hoist itself up, a neighboring crane would swing core columns into place beneath it, and construction would continue. Construction of the towers could now proceed with great speed. Three basic elements were used. Two or three story high sections for the load bearing wall, massive steel beams for the core columns, and floor sections to span the 60 feet between core and wall. A final addition to the North Tower was a 360-foot television antenna erected in 1978. 